Hello, this is the Daily Forest Report for September 1st. We are going to look at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This pair moved lower, did pull back prior to closing higher, overall moving sideways. Look for it to continue in that direction, possibly moving up to 85.32, possibly as low as 83.05. Look for some resistance around 84.65. And look for some support around 83.75. Okay, now looking at the Euro USD pair, this particular pair closed higher. Uh, overall, this pair is moving sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 129.75, possibly as low as 125.77. Look for some resistance around 128.55, and look for some support around 126.59. Okay, now looking at the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed higher, didn't break previous sessions low. Actually, I have a swing trade setup, but it's pretty narrow, cutting right through the open of this last session. Look for this pair to overall uh, be moving sideways. It does have a, a slight bias to the downside overall as well. Look for it to potentially go as high as 156.10, possibly as low as 152.40. Look for some resistance around 154.88. And look for some support around 153.23. Okay, now the U.S. Swiss. This pair moved much lower, but pulled back, closed higher overall. Uh, this pair is moving to the downside, bias down. Look for it to possibly, if we get a reversal, go to 1.0270, and possibly as low as one, or possibly as low as zero nine 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 six. Look for some resistance around 1.0217. And look for some support around 10065. Okay, now as far as news announcements go, we have the Swiss releasing their GDP at 1.45 a.m. Eastern Time. The consensus on this is that the quarter has improved from 0.4% to 0.8%, which would be good news for the Swiss. Year to date, they're also showing an increase from 2.2% to 2.6%. We also have the uh, euro releasing their GDP at 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Quarter showing a hold at 1.0% and a hold at a year to date at 1.7%. We also have the euro releasing their interest rate decision at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that is that they're going to hold rates at 1%. Now, as far as what I'm looking at, if you take a look at the euro Swiss. This particular pair on the hour time frame, these two are definitely correlated. If you back out a little ways, you can kind of get an idea that uh, there are times where this particular pair goes sideways and then has large breakouts. Uh, when, when the range gets pretty tight, it's, it's usually showing uh, a good time to look for a potential breakout. Uh, and this is one of those pairs that does it uh, pretty strong. Uh, in that direction. So let me show you what we're looking at doing. We have an area of resistance here and of support or resistance here that correlates with support here. So what we're going to do is we are going to mark those two spots. Let me shrink this down a little bit. What I like to do is get a few, uh, a few pips above it, say 10 pips uh, above the actual, uh, the actual support and resistance area so that you're not caught in some whipsaw. Just put your lines there. Let me grab another one. And what this allows you to do is stay out of the whipsaw but catch these strong moves when they do occur. Okay, let me back back out a little bit. So now we can see that we have an area of potential. We have a potential resistance and we have potential support. Now what, what we're going to do is look to buy at the second line at 130.47 and look for it to come on up to another potential area of known support and resistance which would be right about here. Basically looking to grab at least going up to the 
30, uh, up to the 130, 100 level is what I look for t for that. To the downside, looking to sell at 129.79 and looking for it to come on down probably to this range right here around the 129.30 mark. So about 40 pips there. A uh, little, little close to 50, real close to 50 on this one. So basically we're looking for, if you notice this really strong bar right here, this very strong up candle, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for these strong moves uh, in one direction or another out of these areas of support and resistance. So this particular pair has a tendency to move sideways uh, for a while and when it flatlines like that, that's a great time to look for potential uh, for potential breakouts and not only f it goes flat you know in this in this case but the ranges get really really tight and that's where going out from the previous resistance and previous support about 10 pips beyond it you really can catch some strong moves uh, when you do that well that about does it for today until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading